We want to work on building up your upper body strength. So I'd like you to put your hands here and you're going to pedal. At 58 years old, April Ginn is just beginning to adjust to one of the biggest losses of her life. Three weeks ago, she had to have her right leg amputated. It took a long time before I'd look at my leg after they did it. Everybody else looked at it, but I just couldn't get myself to look at my leg. Two. April has lost a lot of things over the last few years. First, she lost her job building motor mounts for domestic cars. Then she required surgery to repair her ailing heart. And most recently, she watched as both of her legs became almost useless as a result of diabetes. Our whole family's been struggling with wondering if she's going to pass away or not. We came close several times of losing her. I can't tell you. How hard that hits me and my family. Now for the first time in her life, April is asking for help to have any kind of a life when she leaves the hospital. She's going to need three things. A power wheelchair, a portable wheelchair ramp, and a motorized hospital bed. Without those items, she would be essentially a hostage in her own home. So April, if you were to go home the way things are right now, what would it be like for you? I'd be a prisoner. I would be able to do anything. I'd be homebound. I'd be stuck there. Living on just $640 a month in Social Security benefits, there's no way April can afford what she needs. So now, we at the Call for Action team are trying to get those items for her. April's son Curtis believes we can definitely do it. You do a lot of good things in the community that no other news stations in Detroit even does. And I know you do it from the bottom of your heart. And that's why I thought it was so important for me to call you. This here would give me a chance to feel like I'm somebody. We are determined to help April. I'm already checking with all of my benefactors to try to come up with the wheelchair, the portable ramp, and that hospital bed, but so far, I've gotten nowhere. If you have any of these items and would like to donate them to us to give to April, please email me at bspencer at wxyz.com. It's right there, bspencer at wxyz.com. I'm Bill Spencer, the Call for Action Team.